All right, what is going on guys? So, um, I get quite a lot of companies messaging me, asking me to review products from and that. Uh, usually, um, I don't reply. <laughs> I'll just say no because, uh, yeah, I get quite a lot of stuff and I don't really have time to review everything. But, um, the guys that import Phoenix or distribute Phoenix in this country, uh, got in touch recently, asked if I wanted to try a head torch out, do a little review on it. Um, and I actually needed a new head torch, so I thought, you know what, why not, we'll try out a head torch. Uh, but let me choose one of the range, which was the uh, HL40R, which I chose, which was a rechargeable one. Um, so yeah, this video is going to be a little review of this head torch. Uh, and I've got some fishing footage as well, because you know, I wanted to show it in action. And I wanted to actually go out and use it in the situation that I would use it in anyway. So yeah, a little review of this uh, head torch. And here it is, it's a rechargeable one. I'll try to get this to focus here. There we go, rechargeable head torch. Um, it's got a adjustable, oh, I'll turn it on a sec. You can adjust whether it's a spotlight or a floodlight. You can see that. <laughs> uh, show on the wall at the back of it. Spotlight, floodlight, spotlight, floodlight. Um, which is one of the main reasons why I chose this one. Um, especially for sea fishing, if you're watching the rod tip, you're gonna want it on a spotlight. You can use it on the, like, the lowest setting and still see your rod tip nicely. Um, and then you get a take, you can put it on a higher setting, switch it to floodlight, and you know you can see see what's going on around you, see where that fish is coming in. Um, I think there's six different settings with this. So uh, yeah, got your power button at the top, got your power button at this side, and then this one adjusts uh, if you want it like to flash or whatever. Uh, it's also got a battery meter on it, which is cool. I can get it to focus again. So you just press this button one time. Shows I've got two bars of battery out of four and that's after using it for about an eight hour session, I think. And add it on constantly for that. So yeah, battery life is pretty decent. Uh, it claims that you can have, you can run it for, on the like, the eco setting. You can run it for 50 hours which is still, that's a bright setting, that's pretty much why I don't all the time. So yeah, 50 hours is a long time. <laughs> There's like a reading lamp setting as well, which is still pretty bright. I'll put that one on now, you see how bright it is. So like, that's the reading light. And as you can see, it's still freaking bright. And <laughs> yeah, I hurt quite a bit. Well, yeah, you can have it flash. But to say that's that is the, Week is setting. You know, it's it's still really bright, and you can you can definitely just watch your rod tips when you're tying rigs. It's sort of setting I'd have it on, so you're not going to be worried about this running out of battery. Um, like I said, it's rechargeable, so you know, charge it up, and it'll definitely last you a very long time. Um, Six different settings, I believe. Six settings, and you can have a burst of 600 lumens as well, which is very, very bright. <laughs> the br on, the, on the high setting, which is uh, 300 lumens. I'll just turn that on a second. And yeah, that's freaking bright. So that's... <laughs> That's the brightest you can run it on, and that you can have it on that for four, from a full battery, four and a half hours if you want that. So, if you want to look at stuff really far away for four and a half hours, you'll be all right. <laughs> so, so yeah, then yeah, 300 lumens is the high setting. Medium's 130. Run time's 11 hours on that. Low 70. 22 hours run time. And eco. Uh, which is 30 lumens, 50 hours, and then a reading 
four lumens, $200, and then a flashing SOS, and you can have a burst of 600 lumens as well. So, yeah. There's uh, a lot of options. Like most head torches come with two settings, bright and dull, and then maybe a flash sometimes. But, uh, yeah, six settings, so that's nice. Uh, just one strap, it's not got a strap that goes over the top of your head. I'll take my off for this. Just one strap on that. It's not got a strap that goes over the top of your head, but, you know, you don't really need that. Hold that in for a sec, turns it on. Adjust it. Turn it off. Very easy to change. Yeah, it's very easy to change the settings on this. Just turn that off because the camera can't see me then. Um, but yeah, I mainly wanted to like show this in action. Um, but I am happy with this head torch anyway. You know, I'm like the, like I said, the main reason I chose it was because you can have the uh, the floodlight and the spotlight, which is, you know, great, especially for filming. Uh, you know, you can see a lot more when you can change the floodlight, and if you really want to focus on, like, say, your rod tip or whatever, um, spotlight's spot on. So, yeah. Like I said, I've got some footage I'm going to put in. A bit of uh, East Coast sea fishing. Hope, we were hoping the cod were in. Uh, the cod weren't in, but we still caught, like, 30 fish in our session so not bad not bad session um but yeah fenix head torch hl 40r happy with this head torch um usb charging comes with the charging cable comes with the head torch warranty card and everything in there um so yeah if you're interested in this i'll leave links in the description to where you can buy one and hopefully i've covered everything with this i mean i'm not really head torch expert i've only ever owned one before and it wasn't very good <laughs> but yeah i'm happy with this one it's better than my brother's head torch and he paid more he paid more for his than this so <laughs> i think he's only has two settings and this is you know like i say six and you can have a floodlight spotlight um let's bring the retail price for this one real quick yeah so this head torch retails for about 50 pounds uk uh, somewhere's got it on sale for £37.50, pretty good deal, uh, so yeah, around 50 quid. Uh, but for an head torch that's got that many settings, it's, uh, it's a pretty, pretty good deal. Um, put the fishing footage in now and you'll be able to see this head torch in action. I use it in like every setting for different things, rig tying, rod tip watching, seeing where the fish are coming in, casting and whatever, so yeah. Hopefully, I've not even watched the footage yet, my camera might have been fogged up the whole time, but hopefully it's turned out alright, and I'll put some of that in now. So yeah, hope you have enjoyed the review, hopefully, you know, I've explained a bit about the torch, like I say, I'm not, not an expert or anything, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think I've got one. <laughs> First cast. Yeah. 
Oh, Whiting, first cast. Ting! <laughs> Not a bad one for a first cast. <laughs> no. Nicely up, didn't it? Yeah. First fish. Nice that. Just steady up worms if you get the bike I know, I'm gonna put one on next next cast. Quick measure for a benchmark fish. Oh 30, 34, yeah. 34 centimetres, bad. not bad, <laughs> it's a keeper, <laughs> we'll put him back. See you bud. Is it? No, it's a fish. Small white in it. Oh. oh, it's bigger than mine though. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, I thought it was going to be massive with that. <laughs> Kited right over, didn't it? Are you ready? Did you put it in the point? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 36 and a half. 36 and a half. So you beat me by like two centimetres. Yeah. Can't see it though. Oh, dab. Can't go wrong with a dab. Don't be. <laughs> Don't be dab. Get a dab. Not sure. Dab, yeah, it's a dab. Nice dab. 25. Bad. Not bad for a dab. It's literally about three minutes after that last fish. Oh, it's proper kite into left. Oh, it's not even that big. Swimming towards the bank. Well, it felt bigger, but it's just a whiten. But it's bigger than my last white, and I think. Big mouth. Big mouth. Oh, I've done you, Anna. <laughs> Just, yes, yeah, 36, isn't it? I uh, know it's 36 and a half, but tip of the tail there like Sam does. No. No, 36 and a quarter if we're pushing it. <laughs> oh well. Bigger than my last one. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Big mouth toad. Yeah. Got him? Good then. Good. No, it's nearly 40 that. Oh, it's touching 40 in it. Squeeze its tail. 40. 40. Don't be looking for bigger ones, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doubled up. <laughs> Dab and a whited. Yeah, that was a good bite, that Alex. Ooh. Nice dab. Nice whiting. One's on panel and one's on. Missed it. Missed it. One's on panel and one's on normal. Good dab, is that? It is a good dab. Two fish, one rig. <laughs> good dab, isn't it? Nearly 30. Flounder, that not a dab. Is it a flounder? Oh, yeah. it's 30. I believe it is. Nice. Cracker that. 30, and then 
<laughs> on the We're same the rig. Whitey. We're the smallest Ooh, white. 25 if you look. Nearly, <laughs> nearly a keeper. Oh, right. 24. Fish finger. Yeah. Cool. Hey. Thicken is that, innit? Yeah, I don't nice. believe that's a flounder though, if you look at mouth and eyes. Yeah, we'll have to look when we get home. Nice fish though, I didn't really bite at all. It's like as gentle as rattle. Yeah. Might be yours. <laughs> it's probably the biggest white I've ever caught. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Felt well hard, you know, just solid when I set rod, set hook on it. Yeah, when they're bigger than. <laughs> 42. <sighs> that is a beauty, isn't it? For a white in. <laughs> oh, it's going to be close. Oh, 41 is it? No. Oh, it is. If you squeeze its tail. Oh yeah, 41. Just, just bigger than yours then. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, nice and chunky though. Nice. Good fight that. Weak bite though. It just, just light rattles. Yeah. Whoa! Trophy! <laughs> Just bigger than other 131. What do you think this one is? It's got weird spots on it. Well, weird pattern on it. Wow, that is sick, that. that's a small nice, isn't flounder, it? isn't it? Is it? What belter is that? No, barely upped as well, just in its lip. Look reckon... It, straight look. Yeah, I reckon these are what I've been frigging doing, little shitty bites that, we have, that we've been missing all the time. Yeah. Well, it's beauty, that, isn't it? Proper fish, that. 31. So Double dab. Double up. Oh, hey. I think these are different species. Oh yeah, sick. That looks like one of the flounders. They're cool, then. Yeah, that looks like one of the flounders are placed or whatever, and that's... See, you can't see through that, can you really? No. Not like this, so... Shellfish shot. So that little one's a dab and that's something else. I don't know, it could be a dab, but it's, I've never seen them that colour before. They're usually paler, aren't they? Yeah. Up a dark, that it's like it's been on clay on it. Yeah. Cool. Call me the dab master. Fish skeleton down its throat, this. Has it? Oh, weird that. Hunter. <laughs> yeah. Scrap hunter. Yeah, maybe. Twenty. Nineteen. Got a twenty and a nineteen. <laughs> Peas in a pod, eh? <laughs> Must be hundreds and hundreds of these out there. 